हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ए चैनल फॉर लर्निंग सिंपल कोडिंग इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो टू बी हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी हैव हैविंग दिस एरर कैन नॉट रीड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अनडिफाइंड रीड स्टेट दैट मींस वी आर नॉट एबल टू रीड और एक्सेस दिस स्टेट ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस फंक्शन because the meaning of this and the this which we are using here is different for that to make this this same we need event binding so for uh, for synchronizing the this of class object instance and the this keyword inside this function we have to make this and this instance property same for that we have to use the concept of binding event handler we can say event binding for that here i am giving you two option two way to do this first one we have to create a constructor we have to create a constructor here and in this constructor we have to bind this method we have a handle increment remember this equal to this dot handle increment dot bind we have a bind function and with the help of bind function we have to link this here similarly we have to link the decrement also like this we have to use decrement also here you see i save it and we have to call super keyword also so i call uh, super also here because i am using a class so it must to call super keyword now super keyword is called and we have bind the object and now you see if i run this program to refresh it and i click here you see we having a event 5 6 7 decrement also in decrement i need to uh, uncomment decrement also because i commented this so i just uncomment it like this save it and again i need to refresh it and you see if i say decrement the value is decreasing if i say increment so value is increasing but we are not able to update this value here so updating of value here is a different concept that we will see in next video in this video we concentrate on event handling and binding a event remember that we bind this using a constructor and here we pass this this means the object instance to this handler means this this all this now become the instance of class so now with the help of this binding we are accessing this count variable this state variable now it is defined it is not undefined because of the bind function of javascript so if we have lot more object thousands of object so it necessary to use this kind of concept if you are advanced java programmer and you have a knowledge of arrow function the same thing you can do without using this bind concept so i am just making it like this comment and if i execute once again you see we have a error again we have a error again we are we having error now i am using a second way to solve this problem that is the arrow function so here for handling increment what we have to do just we have to say equal to and we have to use this arrow function we have to say equal to and we have to use this arrow function problem is solved it's very very simple you see problem solved we are using a arrow function if you do not have a knowledge of arrow function please see my video on advanced javascript i have a complete playlist on this advanced concept of javascript that is based on es6 and later version you can understand this arrow function how we can declare now i just again refresh and you see we have the same effect which we have the effect by using event binding so 
if you are not able to accessing this state variable inside your function because of the problem of this keyword first way to create a constructor bind it with bind method of javascript make it synchronized this keyword pass this keyword all will become same this then we can handle this problem otherwise it's a very very useful concept of arrow function create this arrow function pass here reference and just by using this you can solve the problem of state variable is undefined so that's all in this video i think you learn something from this video if really you learn something please like share and subscribe my video thank you for watching this video see you in next video to completely change this counter value the value which we are using this value is not incrementing not decrementing in next video we will increment and decrement different different versions of set state function we will see in next video thank you again for watching this video